Nathaniel Bassi led Hallelujah Challenge wrapped up in grand style, and it's safe to say that the event's tagged Hallelujah Festival shut down the lucky axis of Lagos. Entertainment News was there to catch some of the best moments, including a performance of the newly released song Olowo Gwagboro. Do enjoy. <laughs> Nathaniel Bassi performing his latest song, Oloa Gwagboro, to rouse innovation at the grand finale of the 30-day viral Hallelujah Challenge, tagged the Hallelujah Festival. The song, written by producer Rotimi Keys, with input from Basi and featured artist Wale Adenunga, was released a few days ago. I got an email from a friend of mine, Rotimi, who, who wrote the song and said, Hey, I just woke up from a dream, I had this song, see if you'd like to, to sing it. And I heard it one time and it was amazing. It was amazing and um, we wrote a few more verses, went to the studio and in less than 10 days we got it mixed and mastered, in, I mean abroad and released and in just just under 48 hours we had over 100,000 downloads and it can only be God. Thousands braved the heavy gridlock in the Lekki Axis to attend the event where other gospel singers Gloria Brimer, Victoria Orenze, Mario Essay, Olumide Inyu and Chinto Kishaku also performed to an ecstatic crowd. The One Hour Music and Worship Challenge, which began on the 1st of June via social media live stream, has attracted thousands all over the world, including a host of A-list celebrities. Many attribute the acceptance of the challenge, which has been widely publicized in Nigeria and beyond, to the power of music. Music is a strong tool that God uses, do you understand? And so, when it was music, people came in, oh, let's praise God. Sometimes people don't have the strength to really pray, but they would rather praise God. Although there is no indication the challenge or festival will become annual events, this mammoth crowd hints that subsequent additions will be welcomed with open arms.